We're just about to begin EWE action in the second phase of season three. We're basically halfway through the season because as we previously mentioned, I'm leaving the award ceremony. This is going to be quite a short season. This is the battle round to determine who's going to be in the number 10 spot for the uh, EWE Showdown Rumble, which is in the next pay-per-view. We have Brandon Judge in the, in the red stars. We have Jay Pierce with the white and I want to like the patterns kind of trunks. I don't really see what they are. So John Subaru in the black shorts and then in the casual kind of like I, what is that? Is that maybe navy, baby blue? -ish? I'm not sure. His trunks are more grey and blue. But either way, you, you can probably tell what I'm talking about. That is Alpha Star. And Mr. Lan, or Lan, is the referee, and I have no idea why he is that cool, but he is. Anyway, this is a kind of battle royale match. Oh, what's going on here? Alpha Star and uh, Super Group teaming up there. That was cool. Kind of like a V-trigger there. It was kind of like a V-trigger. It was a V-trigger, but okay. Anyway, oh, Super, fucking hell. Flying all over the app. The special thing about this battle royale match is that obviously it's over the top rope, but also pinfalls are allowed. So if you're not, um, well, if you're not careful, you could get rolled up and boom, your opportunity at the number 10 spot is gone. Who just got thrown? Jay Pierce just got thrown out. I literally wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> Super bleeding from that chopper, Brandon Judge. It, like, like I said, I reckon one person's gone. Why is Brandon Judge going to submission? What, what was the point? Anyway, this is what I'm on about. Super group with a pin. Don't know why Brandon just broke that up. It's elimination. I guess the showdown rumble will also have to have fucking pin balls. Uh, that, that would be kind of interesting though. I'm not going to lie. Showdown rumble is going to be either very short or very weird. Well, actually probably both this, uh, this season. And if the uh, if 2.23 comes out and I get it so fairly quickly in the middle of the season, I will switch to that and then do a whole season of 2.23 because, yeah, I mean, let's be fair, Fire Pro Wrestling World isn't the best. But, I mean, it's good, but it's not like the best to do a whole series on. Oh, well, what's going on here? Alpha Star and Brandon Judge assist the power bomb into submission again for whatever reason. Supergroup kind of having a fend for himself here. He's been team bomb. Alpha Star. The first person to officially. Oh, Super's broken his arm, I think. Is Super dead? Um. No. no I. Super's not breathing. Super's not moving. There is a pool of blood by his head. If you can't tell, I'm a bit sick today, so kind of a tad bit worse uh, commentary. But uh, I'm not focusing on the map. He's not moving. I One, two, and no, no, pick out my alpha star. Can we get some official medical checkup on Super, please? Because I think he might have honestly just died from a Brandon Judge Samoan drop. By the way, when the hell has Brandon Judge done a Samoan drop? But this could be the turning point that Alpha Star needs in his career. <gasps> Very close there. That's what I'm on about. This could be the turning point he needs in his career. He didn't do very good last time. And a spot in the Showdown Rumble. If you win the Showdown Rumble, you main event Immortal, the biggest EWE show. And it is always for the world title. Two and... Oh, kick out by Alpha Star. Um... Super Brute is still dead. I'm really nervous about this. He's not breathing. Alpha Star almost. Alpha Star's been really like compared to his last season, obviously he's just began again. We haven't seen too much of him, but he has been doing very well compared to his last season in EAW and here. Oh! I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was through the middle rope, but Alpha Star claims his spot as number 10 in the Showdown Rumble. Now let's hear from the number one contender for the World Championship, Justin Ford. 
And here we go, he's coming down, the number one contender for the World Championship, Justin Ford. Made a great return last season that I'm sure no one really saw coming to qualify for the KO Chamber. And he, he, he did come very close to winning. He really did. I think he was like the third man left in the match. Very behind with the crowds, looking at them all. As they cheer him on. You know, he runs down to the room, kind of like stretching on it. Running all the way back up to the stage. And now running back to the ring. And back into the ring he goes, talking to the referee. Ready to say some words. Listen to how behind he is with the fans right now. They, they are loving this return of the man with a plan. Getting loads of texts. Getting loads of calls, missed calls, getting called out on the streets, getting basically just tackled over. And everyone just wants to know, what do I think of my former boss? What do I think of my target? Fierce Knight, the EWE World Champion. Now, I'm not going to go and do what other people may do and talk trash about him, say how bad he is, no, this man deserves some respect, this man is a five time EWE World Champion, he's been here since FWE days, he gave me a damn fucking job and a platform, he's been doing marvellous work, he's great in the ring, he can turn shit into gold basically when he feels like it, sure his ego may be too big for his boots, but that's what's going to make it even better, when I take him down. Mark my words, I am hungry for that EWO World Championship. The only reason I didn't win it at KO Chamber is because Alex was in my way. And he knocked me out of a running knee, which I didn't even see happening. By the way, Alex, what a star he is. He is excellent. Honestly, if I had to even if I went back and was just watching it, I would honestly put my votes on Alex and Knight being the final two. But here's the thing, people are saying Knight is now, is, is, he's going to be the best, longest reigning the world champion of all time. And I say, why? Okay, he put on some blue, what is it, body paint? He put on some random face tattoo, he has a cross on his back, a weird blue cross. But, am I supposed to be scared? Okay. I've got to give I've got to give utmost respect. He survived Brock Lesnar about ten f fives and finished Brock with one curb stomp. It takes I I don't even know how much strength you have to have to pull that off, but it is impressive. It hasn't been done before. But why should I fear this small little man just because he's put some paint on? Like. If I put on some paint, would that make me the next big thing? No, you would call me a fucking idiot. Because, like, what, what, why, why would I? Why would you do that? It just makes you look like a fool, really. And another thing. Oh, what's going on here? The super kick king. Last time we saw him, he beat his arch nemesis. Kyle Rise and he's making his way down to the ring talking to the fans who they are also firmly behind him now if you ask me this is a dream match but let's see what they have to say to each other I guess why is he here? whoa 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 Ford I'm sorry to interrupt you and everything like you are you are amazing i'll give you that but there has been something that has been bugging me and that is that of course i'm happy that i've gotten rid of kyle rise you know like he's been a thorn in my side for god knows how long months basically and i finally got rid of him but there is no one better now there is no one who i think i can go for because you're already going for the world title I can't. Well, I mean, I could. Triple threat, you know. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. 
I think I am. Tell me, Jackson, you've had a few matches against another mid-carder, and you think that you deserve a, a triple threat for the World Championship. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, you, you basically read my mind. Congrats, Ford. So, what'd you say? Go on. You, you ready to fight some young talent? Listen, kid. I don't give out opportunities. EWE isn't about giving out opportunities. You earn them. I'm not just going to add you to the title match that I clawed for. Well, okay, fine then. You want me to earn it? I'll beat you tonight in the main event, whatever match you want. And if I win, I get added to the title match. Hmm. Wait, wait. What do you guys think? Do you want to see Justin Ford v Jackson Hart in the main event? Oh. No, I'm hearing a lot of cheering. I'm hearing a lot of fans who can't wait to see that. And you know what? If you can find, I accept, if you can pull off a win against me in the main event of tonight, I will give you the opportunity. Because if you beat me, then I guess you kind of deserve it. Trust me, I won't be going easy on you, Nick Carter. Come here and say that to my face. Now, I'll see you in the ring. I'm sorry, Mr. Ford. I'm sorry for, you know, interrupting and everything. But I'm just, I'm just kind of confused at the moment. I haven't, my, my goal, I said this at the award ceremony, is to get the EW World Championship. And I can't do that when you're the number one contender. And I've finally gotten rid of the thorn on my side, Kyle Rise. But there's, there's no one who really wants some, if that makes sense. So I thought I would, I, I would ask of you a small um, challenge, if you will. But you interrupt me, then you want me to... Well, fine, fine. Lay it down, let's see what it is. Give me a match against you in the main event of this show, but tonight, in a few minutes. And if I win, you can choose the match type, it, it literally doesn't matter. If I win, then I get added to the World Championship match at Showdown Rumble. Mm. Thing is, Jackson, right, you're an amazing athlete. I can respect you and stuff. I, I kind of see myself in you, you know, we're both very uh, technical and stuff, but... What exactly have you done apart from feuding with Kyle Rise for the past few months? You haven't won anything. You've dedicated your entire craft to just beating Kyle Rise, which you've already done, so like nobody really knows what's next to you. But what have you done apart from beating him, which I've already done by the way, to earn a title opportunity? Exactly what I'm proving myself tonight. Sure, in EWE rules, it states if you beat the number one contender, then you can get added to the match. You do have a point. Alright then. Alright then, Mr. Mick Carter. You'll be seeing when it's like to be in the main event. For once. And trust me. It's nothing like Kyle Rides. And ladies and gentlemen, here we go with one of the biggest normal show matches you will probably see in your life. It's the Golden Winged Angel representing Team Golden, Hayden Newman. Also representing obviously one half of the WWE Tag Team Championship, which he doesn't hold. That's Teddy Thunder and Adam Sanchez. A contender. Well, was the number one contender for the EWE European Championship that got screwed out of that match via Tyler Arkinson's actions. Leader 
ultra rebellion that went to shit and his opponent is a man who backstabbed him on that very night. The man who's costed in the European Championship. Tyler Arkinson back in ring action. The anti-demon, the season stealer, the inaugural EWE World Champion. Look at these two. Circle in the ring. Collar and elbow tie up now. Who's going to switch? Both these men know each other far too well. Very similar in their own light. Right, it's lovely headlock there by Tyler. Don't stay down. Big overhand chop back in the collar and elbow. Finish. Axe kick Finish. drops him. Hayden saying Tyler's finished. Stopping him from doing whatever he's doing there. Tyler Arkinson being denied. Big kick. Tyler ducks under there. What is he doing? Pile driver by Tyler Arkinson. Into the cover already. One kick out. Finish. Now Hayden out. No chops. Rapid fire ones. No blow to Tyler. And what is this? Double underhook. No. Tyler throws him over. Big kicks. DDT. Tyler now. To the top. What is that from Tyler? Lovely cover, Kamana. Kick out of two. Double underhook once again. Tyler gets out of it. Tyler might be looking for some springboard here. Gets caught out. Shoulder tackle. Heat seeker. A lovely manoeuvre. And a sliding knee across the face. Tyler RKO. Finish your move. Goes into the cover. Won't break. Called by referee Leanne. Hayden trying to get out of the way. Tyler not going to let him. Tyler the ringside now. These two have a 15 minute time limit. Got to be careful. Tyler the side. Come on, let's get back in the ring, big man. Hayden saying, yeah, come on. These two know each other fairly well. They're going to be quite technical. Hayden's choking him out. This is quite a slow count, I'm not going to lie. He's got to let go. He's going to get DQ'd. How has Hayden received the downing from that? Oh no. Into the turnbuckle RKO. And now game over. Feet. Yeah. Referee Leanne doing a good job there. Tyler Arkansas going to take it to the skies. Misses. So much for keeping it in the ring. Another lock up, Tyler Arkansas. What is this man doing? Tyler kind of rotating around the ring there. Aiden Kirk. No, no, what is he? Oh, God. Shattering the knees. Trying to throw Hayden. Hayden denying it. There we go. Irish whip. Hayden refuses to run the ropes. Now Tyler Arkinson going to force him to. He refuses again. See, that's what I mean. These two know each other far too well. And there's the choke again. Tyler managing to get out of it this time. Referee Leon's really got to be getting involved. That figure four. Both these men, very similar. Been to decently the same companies. Uh, both been to MMA, one after the other. Both have done un un like unlistable things that each other have both actually done. They're so similar, and they're both going to tee off right now. It's unknown why Tyler Arkinson would, would betray the rebellion like that after just signing up with them, but. I mean, I guess answers will be told soon. And look at this, just chopping at each other. Tyler's getting worn out. And now chopping even more. Hayden goes down. Game over. No, gets out of it. Into the cover, sneaky cover two. Kick out. Big kick by Tyler. Figure four, figure four. Oh, he's been in there for a little bit. There you go. Wait a minute. Reality hold. Tyler might go out. Finishing maneuver from the Golden Wind Angel, the reality hold. Look at Tyler. Gasping for air, these two have got five minutes left. Tyler manages to reach an elbow around to get out of it. Double underhook, no. Gets out of it. Once again. Tyler Arkinson now waits him. What, what the hell was that? Go, oh, ducks out of the way. Hayden to the top, what's he doing? Jumps into an RKO. 
Oh, that was lovely. Into the cover, but it's won't break again. Hayden trying to get out of it. Tyler not going to let him. So he breaks off the... Oh, my God, is that an end of heartache? Hayden out of breath. Tyler trying to jump it in. Hayden back into the ring. These two taking breathers, looking at each other. Knowing that, but they know they can't let the other one rest. I know that far too well from the MPW days. Tyler Arkinson seems to be the man on top, kind of pulling out of the face now. And he gets out of it. What is he doing? Oh, calm stomp! Just like the EW World Champion Mike does. And Tyler still oh, recovering oh. almost instantly. These two men are just trying to have breathe. There's another one! Trying to do it again, but Tyler's picking him off. Tyler's stunned. Aiden stunned. Oh, okay, on finish your move. Good night to the Golden Wing Danger. Two and... Oh, no, kick out. We have a short amount of time remaining. I don't think he really is going to get the win. Moose on cover quickly into Tyler Arkansas and two kick out. And that's it. Referee Lee and Lan, Leon, Lee, Leon, Lee, Leon, whatever. Calling it off, these two men collapsed in the centre of the ring. Well, not even in the centre. In the ring. What a match. Both getting up by the ropes. Referee Lan is just. Stopping them from fighting, shouting at each other from across the ring. Tyler laughing. Who's on the run? Mad Dog's running down. No, Mad Dog. Tyler just noticing him. No, 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 no. What is going on here? Rabbit power slam to the former leader. Well, what's going on here, Tyler Arkansas? Oh, no, it's all imploded. They're all fighting each other. I thought Mad Dog and Tyler Arkinson were on the same side of things, but nope. These are all just these not are all just fighting because they feel like it. Got the cart, no, no, no. <laughs> Tyler fucking flattening Mad Dog there. Now Tyler off the ropes. No, token. And now and Tyler. Trying to work together to outmaneuver Mad Dog, but that, that's obviously not going to happen. Tyler thrown off the ropes. Big punch. Another big punch. Hayden taking him. What? Tyler and Mad Dog now working together. What's coming on there? Tyler kind of stuck in the middle saying, come on, I'll leave you two to fight then. And that's exactly what they're going to do. That's a smart break. Oh my God, look at the strength of Mad Dog. Keeping... The Golden Wing Danger at bay. Who else do you know that can do that, man? That is, that's insane. Mad Dog letting it go. Look, headlock. Out wrestling. At its finest. Wait a minute, Hayden, now suplex. Realises Tyler. But it's too late, there's that Hurricane Rana again. Wait a minute, Mad Dog, no. Trying to lift him up, Tyler Arkinson. Why is Lan going for the pin, actually? I think he was trying to tell him to stop. Uh, Tyler now. Come off the ropes, just shoves him to Hayden. Wait a minute, Mad Dog from behind now. A big chop. And oh, no, 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 can I even destroy him? Maybe no. Of course not. Wait, no, no. Oh, Tyler stalked him for a um, uh, cutter there. And Mad Dog just taking complete control, no. Tyler giving Hayden kind of the look there. Now they're both locking up. What are they doing? Ready. Lovely double power bomb. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, oh, of course, out of that one. Um, oh, okay, oh, the Mad Dog. It's an RKO party. And a reality hold. When the Golden Wind Angel breaks out of it. No, 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 wait a minute. No. The curse. The new finishing move Mad Dog has been using. Well, training to use anyway. Obviously, he hasn't been on TV very often. This is like his return, kind of, in a way. Oh no, Tyler into the turnbuckle. And so is Mad Dog. Tyler takes a low blow now. And now strikes. 
Taller throws him into the top mark. Oh, okay, on. He's, he's out. Look at that. Out like a light. Hayden's down. We're gonna we're gonna need some medical on that. That RKO was or cutter or whatever. That was that was brutal. I think it was on Mad Dog as well. Mad Dog keeps trying to do the curse to Tyler, but Tyler's not allowing it. RKO! And Tyler Arkansas, the season stealer, has just sent a message to his rivals. Oh, and here we go. We all know cool. he's not our. Look at Aaron Bell go. Oh dear, these are at the bells. They've been wreaking havoc ever since their showdown rumble. I guess kind of returned, kicking the ropes and everything. Looks like they want to say a few words. My ring now. We gotta say some. I gotta say some things. Good. Right. You two. Eyes on me now. How? How did it happen? How do you not lose? Right, how do you not lose one, but two of our titles, our legacy, in one pay-per-view? Aaron, I've got to give props to you. You tried your hardest. You were there. You gave it hope. You gave it heart. But Webb, what was your performance? You not only did you lose the hardcore championship in the in a situation where you should strive to succeed, right? You also lose the tag championships. You, I'm I'm ninety nine percent sure you were the first one eliminated as well. Aaron put up fight, which by the way, Aaron, you're not getting off clean of this because you still lost. But Webb, I'm more pissed off at you because you lost two of them in one night. How, how about you come into the ring and explain yourself a little bit here? Listen, man. I tried. And Cage is just a cheating little shit. I don't want excuses. I don't want he cheated this. I don't want it was unfair because I want you to get better and I want you to get the title back. You owe me an apology. That's what I want. I'm sorry. I didn't... I... I didn't mean to lose the title. You better not fucking meant to! Do you have any idea how much those titles mean to me alone? Not even holding them. And now we've lost them. I'm still working to try and get the number one spot, but somehow Jackson Hart might actually get that before me. How that's happened, I don't, I don't goddamn know. Okay, it's, it's insane. He, he has one feud, and everyone loves him, and all of a sudden he could possibly be added to a title match. It, it's dumb, it's stupid. I've asked Andy Carlos, and he said the exact same thing. I've got to work for it. Jackson Hart didn't bloody work for it, but anyway, that's besides the fact. You better be working harder than I am to get your Hardcore Championship back. Ah, oh, Hardcore Championship back. And you better be working with Aaron to get the Tag Team Championships back. Because if I do not see us as t Tag Champions or Hardcore Champions or European Champions, in fact, if you want to go that mile, even though you're obviously not ready for it, if you can't be a mid-carder like Cage... Not even a mid-carder, he, he, he's in the hardcore championship division, that's how art he is. Mark my words, Webb. I brought you into this show, I brought you into this industry, I, I introduced you to the wrestling world. Not so long ago, I can take you out of it if you don't abide to me, okay? Since when were you the one in control, Alex, actually? Yeah, you got the biggest name out of all of us. You did you did the goddamn uh, most accomplishments, but why are you leading the pack? Guys, guys. See this is what this is what 
they want from us, man. They want us to break up because we're too strong altogether. Look, Webb, we messed up last last time, right? At last pay per view. Listen to me. We messed up. We lost the titles. It, it, it was in our hands. Get them back. We come back stronger, all right? So that's what we do as Webb's and Aaron's and Alex's and Bell's. We come back stronger. Don't, let's not argue about this, lads. Come here, Alex. Let's not argue about this. Let's not argue about who's in control. Let's just do our jobs, get them back, and make our family proud. Yes, sir. Sorry for getting in your face, Alex. You better be. Aaron, get in here. Yeah. You know, I was going to go hard on you. But considering you managed to control your, uh, I, I don't know who he is to us. Is he our cousin? Yeah, he's, a, he's our cousin. How do you not know your own cousin? Anyway, yeah, go on. She did that. You can you control the situation quite well. Good man. Good man. Come, Webb. Gone back. Aaron, joining us. So you're going, are you going in the limo? Uh... I'm gonna stay out here a little bit. I'm gonna talk to the people. I haven't done that for a while. All right, good. Web, come with me. Did you pathetic little losers actually think I wanted to talk to you lot? I don't want to talk at all. I'm not the talkative type. But I need to get my words out there. Jeremiah, the ball, the European champion. You're holding something that. I honestly think should be mine, you know, my younger brother's going for the world championship, my cousin's going for the hardcore championship, well to be fair we're both going for the tag team championship as well but we can wait for that. The European championship, you haven't got a bell after you and that's probably making you think that you're immortal, that you can go scot free and say whatever you want, do whatever you want. Which, you haven't taken the opportunity to do so, you're fairly quiet, and I respect that. But, you go against crappy opponents, underwhelming opponents, and when you don't, they get distracted out of a win. You're not a fighting champion, my friend. I can show you what a true opponent looks like. I can show you what a real match is. Is. I will give you the biggest match of your career if that's what you wish. Jeremiah, come out here right now and I think you know what I want. I want a showdown rumble the next pay per view. I want a shot at the European Championship and you need to answer for it. Jeremiah from the barricade, look! Coming into the ring. Aaron Bell noticed him. Oh, big knee. Jeremiah now punching him off. Big kick. In a knee kick here. Off the ropes. And now Jeremiah off the ropes again. Gets a shoulder tackle and a high knee. And an ankle lock. Look at Jeremiah screaming the European champion. Prince of Extreme, Aaron Bell, who was formerly just known as a myth in a way, and it's like, like every time I talked about him, anyone who didn't watch the TGM show only knew him as, oh yeah, Aaron Bell, he exists, he's just Alex Bell's older brother, but no, he's here, he's returned after a lot of training to make his presence known as no. I am the strongest in the Bell family. I do MMA. I am the prince of extreme, as he likes to call himself. God, the European champions are really getting his, his clock cleaned. What is this? Oh my God! And again, the prince of the, the prince of extreme just lifting our European champion over his head like he's nothing, and leaves him there. Oh, he's picked up a mic. I'll take that as a yes. 
Go on, grab a mic from the referee. Tell me what the stipulation's going to be. I'm ready to hear it. Stipulation. Oh, no. The referee's going to... Oh. Hello, this is uh, EWE official uh, referee LAN, LAN, however you want to pronounce my name. Jeremiah has requested not to speak in respect of himself, but he has chosen the map stipulation, and it will be an MMA fight style match in an octagon. <laughs> really? You want to go there, big man? Alright, the ball will meet you in the octagon then. And here we go. Possibly Jackson Hart's biggest match for now, anyway. Will be this. This will be his first, I guess, kind of number one contenders match. It will be up against the number one contender, the man of a plan, Justin Ford. And if he wins, he will be added to the title match. Come shine down Rumble, and here he comes, the Super Kick Kid. Jackson Hart. Known for having classic bangers with um, Kyle Rhymes as of late. He would come on, up on top after going back and forth with him so many times. What's going on here? Fight. Here we go. Bell has been rang. And already just going straight at it. I'm not sure if this will be a technical masterclass or just the, the, the mixture of things. I feel like it will be a mixture of things. Now, you've got question. Obviously, wrestlers have their names as, I don't know, whatever you want to name it, as a gimmick. But Justin Ford, he really does have a plan for every single match. He really does have a plan for every single person on the roster. Does he have a plan for a last minute change against Jackson Hart? That's an interesting question. How can the man with a plan operate on, I don't know, he, he probably does have a plan, he's probably got a bit of a, um, he's, probably, he's probably managed to muster one up in the short time that he's had. But if he hasn't, how does he operate without a plan, without a battle plan? Lovely leads to the midsection here. Let me tell you why body shots and all that stuff is vital in not just wrestling matches, but in basically every combat sport. When you're locking someone's waist, when you're kneeing someone repeatedly in the midsection, it's going to make him hard to breathe. When it, is, it, may, it make them panic and, you know, because... Fuck. <laughs> it's going to make it hard to breathe, like I just said. It's going to make them panic. Because obviously they can't breathe as well. Oh, super kick to the super kick king. And a bow and arrow stretch. Give me a second of my explanations here. As you see from the rapid knees to uh, Jackson Hart. And, you know, lo not just knees or just normal body strikes like that. Elbow and stuff. And then it rolled up. Oh my god, I'm trying to do an explanation here, Justin. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, not just like casual strikes, but lockups and stuff. Of course, it's going to make it harder to breathe, and the harder it is to breathe, the more panic is going to settle in, and that panic's going to make it, in a way, harder to breathe. It's a good strategy to go off of fear, off of this rope right there, I could see that from a mile away. It's a very good strategy to go off of fear, and I believe that might honestly be the uh, strategy we're seeing from Justin Ford tonight, and a lovely technical work into that leg lock by Justin Ford. It's Ford, no, by Ford, by, um, from Jackson there, but Ford's going to show him how to actually do it. Both these men not going to be able to get a, a uh, win off the submissions. Lovely forearms, we've seen him doing that a lot against Kyle Rise and a big boom. Oh, lovely jumping armbar. Rope break, Jackson Hart very clearly grabbing the ropes there. Big kick to the uh, kneecap. Of Justin Ford, double on the hook, suplex, lovely delivery on that one. And now from behind, no, Jackson playing possum, lovely punch to kind of like the kidneys there. A reverse leg lock, 
is the Merman's return going to tap out? No, he's not. Just a reminder that Justin Four has got nothing to lose here. Absolute, basically nothing to lose apart from Jackson being added. Jackson Hart. If he lose, oh lovely Dimitri Gillitin was saw this against Carl Rise at Gold Rush. If Jackson Hart loses, he's going to lose his momentum. He's going to lose his first, I guess, number one contenders match. He's going to lose the, the um, chance to be put in his first ever world title match. No, oh, I thought he was going for a neutralizer there. Turned it into a brain buster. An absolute lovely move there. Cover on the man with a plan to be ended. No, kick out. He's going to go for it again. No plan to get out of that one. That's for sure. One, two, and for No, Justin Ford. <laughs> with a plan to get out of that, apparently. And a shoulder tackle. I believe that uh, traditional EWA rules. Anyway, going off of that, there is a time limit to this match. Somehow a break there. I'm, I didn't I didn't personally see that. Dragging the arm. Justin Ford saying he's the one. He's the one to go against tonight at the at the um, Showdown Rumble. I was about to call it the KO train, but then we're not going to have it this season. God, the next pay per view after this. I know it doesn't feel like KO. Right? Oh, what is this? Jackson Hart choking him out. I know it doesn't feel like Showdown Rumble and it won't feel like Immortal, but like, uh, I guess we'll see. Lovely special roll up. This is what we mean with the plan. The man of the plan almost got the pin with a roll up. A beautifully timed one as well. Brain Buster. And now into another cover by Jackson Hart, who's liking that more than he's liking super kicks at this point. He wants to be added. And what, he's gonna give Justin Ford brain damage, holy shit. Into the cover again. Surely that won't do it. Two and. Oh, I thought that was it. I'm gonna go to the bed. The thing is, I think I see the battle, but I love the kick. Was that the plan in Paradise? No, mini sent him across the back. I think I, I think that is the plan in Paradise, actually. I believe it might be. Anyway. Reverse leg lock. I think we see the plan of Jackson Hart though. He got oh, Jackson Tony gives up, and that is a win for Justin Ford. A well fought battle by Jackson Hart. He made them believe. They believed all right, but it is not enough for Jackson Hart.